Mm, it really is just so good. Hello, hello. The end of the year is finally here. I cannot believe 2019 is coming to an end. I feel like I say this every year, but the year is flying by. Anyways, I wanted to do a beauty wrap up for you guys. I always talk about so many beauty products, but I kind of wanted to narrow down the standouts from the year, whether it's skincare, hair care, body care, beauty, all of the above. I have kind of a little something for everyone. Let's just hop into it. Okay, so I'm gonna save all the makeup products for last. Let's get more into like the body care, skincare, things like that. First off, I have to talk about a product that, mm, I feel like this may not be a surprise if you've seen my most recent Lush videos. This is the Lush Candy Rain Conditioner. And it actually looks crazy because the bottle is like empty at the bottom because I store it in my shower like this. But this conditioner just smells so, so amazing. I wonder if I open it up if it's gonna like explode on me now because there's like a lot of pressure in this bottle. This smells like a vanilla latte in a hair conditioner. It's super rich and really, really moisturizing, which even though I do have, I mean, fairly fine and flat hair, I do like very, very moisturizing conditioners. It was really just the dream product that I've been wanting Lush to come out with. I felt like I never really, you know, completely loved a hair conditioner from there. So I've just been so obsessed with it. You can see this is like, I mean, this one's already like a quarter gone, but I've already went through another bottle. And I think I've used it pretty much every single time I wash my hair ever since I got this. So this one definitely had to make the list. Actually, you know what, I have quite a few hair favorites. So sticking to the theme of hair favorites, I have the Moroccan oil, Moroccan treatment here. This is just like the classic Moroccan oil product. I feel like you guys have probably seen this before. This bottle in particular, I think this was like, oh yeah, this is like the 10 year celebration bottle. That's why it's all like crystalled out and super fancy. Um, but yeah, I have been using Moroccan oil, I swear for, probably since I was like in grade seven or eight. It was really one of the first hair products that I was ever introduced to. So the smell is just so nostalgic. I love the way that it makes my hair super shiny. I use it on my hair both when it is wet and I'm just like say blow drying up my hair or when it's straightened, when it's like something like today where it's just super long and sleek. I'll take a little, little bit of oil and just kind of run it through the ends just to make sure that it's super shiny and really glossy. So I've just been absolutely loving it. It's definitely an essential in my hair care routine. I literally cannot live without this stuff. I have one more actual hair product here, and this has been, oh, such a favorite of mine. I don't think I've ever talked about it. It's the Way Matte Pomade. Now, Way as a hair care brand in general, I'm just a really big fan of. But this, I like to use this for a few different reasons. One, I like to do like really high, kind of like Ariana Grande style ponytails. And this is a really great product to help sleek all the hair back without making it look greasy because it does have a matte finish. But also what I like to do, I have a ton, I'm not sure if you can tell today, I have a ton of little broken hairs and baby hairs. I had a bald spot at the back of my head for a while, so my hair was growing in really spiky and crazy. So this is actually a really great product just to take like a little bit of it on your fingertips and then ever so slightly dust those little baby hairs down and then also if my hair is more wavy and like textured and a bit curly that day, I'll take a little bit of the product and kind of put it through the ends and kind of just like make my hair a bit more PC and like I guess beachy is the only way to describe it, but this product has so many different uses and I can't really style my hair without it. So I absolutely love it, would definitely recommend it. I've got my mom obsessed with it. I'm pretty sure my dad even uses it. I swear there's no, there's no limits to how you can use the matte pomade. Okay, now this one doesn't look very, very luxurious because I have it separated into two different things and these are actually Luxie hair extensions. Now I don't, I feel like I also never talk about hair extensions on my channel um, because I don't necessarily wear them every day. I actually have one piece clipped in today, but I have a few different reasons why I wear hair extensions and I feel like this year I really got like into the groove of it and I absolutely love this set. So this one here is from Luxie, like I said. The color of these, I'm pretty sure it's like the brunette to blonde balayage. It definitely has like a balayage set, which I really like that because I actually have like a grown out kind of balayage in my hair right now. So color matching is really hard and I didn't want to get a pair of my old extensions dyed. So these ones actually match like insanely perfectly. Like I didn't have to color them at all. I cut some of them myself, which I don't know if I'd recommend that, but I mean, I felt fine with it. So I basically have like the really long uncut set in here, which is maybe about like half of the set. And I'll use that if I'm doing well, like really long hairstyles. But if I am doing an updo with a really high ponytail, I'll use the really long ones just because it looks the best when it's super long. Now, since I do have quite a blunt and just like straight across haircut, it's nothing too fancy. Um, normally what I'll do if I'm styling my hair down, whether it's straightened or if it's like curled, I'll put one strip of extensions in. So I have two strips here that I took out of my set that I actually did cut. And I'm not kidding when I say I legitimately cut these with like kitchen like craft scissors. So sorry to all the hairdressers out there for like rolling their eyes at that. But, but I figured for the type of haircut that I have, it is very blunt. I don't have to worry about blending in the hair or anything like that. So I literally could just like cut it straight across. But I don't think that would work for my most hairstyles, so probably don't do that. So you can see that this is a pair here that I cut to match my hair length, which is probably actually a little short for me now because I cut this about midway through the year. But yeah, it just gives me a little bit more um, of hair to actually work with. <laughs> Speaking back to the bald spot, I had um, a traumatizing high pony incident and I lost about, I'd say like a, 
I've got about a bald spot that big, so that's like quite a lot of hair. So I feel like now when I style my hair, it just needs like a little more oomph and I need like a little bit more hair. And just putting in one strip of extensions just tends to do the job. And these are really easy to clip in. I don't even like feel it in my hair. So today I literally just have one strip in. It blends in perfectly. You literally cannot even tell. Um, so yeah, it's just been like a very, it's been a very big year for me discovering hair extensions. And I just am absolutely obsessed with the Luxie brand. So love those ones. Okay, moving on to an exciting part of the video. This part of the video is actually sponsored by Azara Wanted Girl. And I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this perfume before because I've talked about it in old videos. And this perfume, this is my second bottle. I have one in my suitcase right now because I travel with it everywhere. This perfume is such a huge favorite of 2019. You guys know I'm a huge fragrance lover. And this one in particular is like my dream fragrance. It's a mix of floral but with a hint of sweet. There's like ginger flower inside and vertiver that kind of keep it a bit like duskier and add a bit of floral to it. But then there is also a caramel scent there's Dulce, is it Dulce de Leche? Dulce de Leche? Dulce de Leche. I never know how to pronounce that word. But there's notes of that inside as well. So it's really a delicious blend. It's really fascinating. You'll see, especially with a lot of like the hair care and you'll see the skincare products that I choose. I love products that make me smell delicious and like a baked good. Like I like to smell more on the sweet side and more like edible foods that you could go out to a bakery and buy if that makes any sense. Which is really interesting because I think as a human, like the way that I eat, I don't have like the biggest sweet tooth. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like a cookie once in a while, but for the most part, I would always pick savory over sweet. But when it comes to fragrance, I always pick sweet. I've always been that way. Um, so yeah, this is just like, oh, my dream fragrance. It smells so good. I also just like the way it smells on my skin. I find some perfumes can smell different on different people. And the way that this like reacts with my body chemistry, it just smells oh, so amazing. There's two different ways you can actually spray it. You can spray it by like pressing down the little nozzle here, so. You know what, we're just gonna go for it. So you can press it like that, or you can press the top button there. Ooh, I hope it doesn't get inside my lens. Mmm, it really is just so good. So yeah, I've been a huge fan of this one. It also just looks really good sitting on your dresser. I like the actual bottle, which that's a very important factor to me as well. I know that's more of like a superficial one, but if it's too clunky or gets in the way or it's too gaudy and too much, I just, I can't deal with it. So I love this one. I also wanted to include a gift set that this comes in because I think it's a really good gift idea. So if you guys are still doing some last minute holiday shopping, would definitely recommend checking this out, whether it's for yourself or for someone else. But this one comes with the Azara Wanted Girl fragrance inside, and it also comes with the matching scent and a body lotion. So I always think that fragrance is a really nice gift, and if you really just want to douse your life in Wanted Girl, this is definitely the way to go. But you know, since it is the season of giving, I did want to do a giveaway as well. So if you go over to my Instagram, it's going to be live for 24 hours as soon as this video goes live. So if you're watching this with the first 24 hours, go ahead to my Instagram, go into the giveaway, it's gonna be on my Instagram stories, and three lucky winners will be winning a bottle of the Azara Wanted Girl. So definitely check that out if you're interested. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. Okay, moving on to some body care here. This one is literally wet from my shower because I used it this morning. This is from The Body Shop, and this is the Warm Vanilla Exfoliating Sugar Body Scrub. Now, I really don't know how else to explain this other than it's life-changing, and it sounds so... I don't want to say basic, but it just sounds like a normal body scrub. You're like, okay, a sugar scrub. I've been there. I've done that. I know how to exfoliate. Something about this sugar scrub, I swear, has changed the game for me. I recently fell in love with it about a month ago. I was away on the body shop retreat, and I tried this in the shower one day, and it just... It literally changed the game for me, and I've been using it so much since. So yeah, that's how much I've used it in a month, which is pretty confronting. But it not only smells so, so amazing, it leaves your skin feeling so soft and incredible. I would always recommend following up with a body lotion afterwards, and your skin just feels like baby soft. What I really like to do with this as well is in the shower, instead of kind of standing under the running faucet and using it, I like to kind of step out of the water and kind of put it more on like my dry skin. Because, I mean, you think like sugar in your coffee, if you put it in hot coffee, it dissolves really quickly. So same thing with this if you're standing under a hot shower it's gonna kind of dissolve and you're not gonna necessarily get all the amazing benefits of this scrub so I like to use it more kind of just on like my warm skin and then really massage the product in and oh my goodness before shaving oh you get the best shave ever just like I cannot explain it it just has made my skin feel so incredible and especially in the winter time normally my skin just I say goodbye to great skin. I just kind of like let it go and get all dry and gross. But um, not with this. This has been saving the day. And going back to the whole like baked good things. I mean, warm vanilla. You can't really go wrong with that fragrance. I feel like everyone likes vanilla. And if you don't like vanilla, then comment down below because I'm, I'm shocked. But yeah, I really love this. It's so incredible. If you're looking for a really good body scrub, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Okay, let's talk a little bit of skincare. This has been a very... um. A very interesting year for me in skincare. I feel like I've really not only changed up my routine, I feel like I got a lot more educated about acids and active ingredients and 
really just kind of reimagined my skincare routine in so many different ways. Not only here in Canada do we experience like truly four different seasons from winter to hot summers, so I feel like I have to change my skincare up often because of that, because typically in the summer I get more oily and then in the winter I get really, really dry. And um, anyway, so I'm always kind of changing it up. But this summer I really fell in love, back in love with Clinique products. So this one here is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion, which is a twice a day exfoliator. So this is the bottle that I'm currently using, which is like really, really on its last leg here, but I have a fresh brand new one, which is good because I literally don't think I can live without this. Now this, I actually was really confused originally by the marketing of this product. I always just thought it was like a toner that you would use after cleansing your skin, which I guess is technically how you would use it, but it's way more than a toner. It's actually an active exfoliant. So this one in particular, I think this has salicylic acid inside this one. Why can I not see? I'm pretty sure this one has salicylic acid. It kind of depends what number you have. The one that I use is the number two, but depending on your skin type and your skin's needs, you can kind of switch up and increase it and go to like three or four, or if you need something a bit more mild, you can go to number one. But oh my goodness, I feel like using chemical exfoliants over physical exfoliants has been a very big life changing discovery for my skin. I have very sensitive skin. It's sensitive to touch. Like even if I just poke my face, it'll get red really quickly. So yeah, that was a really big change that I made. And I just, I think this clarifying lotion, which again, the name confuses me. I wish it was just called like exfoliant, like liquid exfoliant, um, because that's really what it is. But it really has changed the game and it makes my skin just feel kind of like, tight in a good way, like as if my pores are like put together. I mean, obviously you can't shrink the size of your pores, but it does feel like it just kind of holds everything in place and it makes it so smooth and shiny and it really just makes my skin feel so refreshed. I mean, it is a chemical exfoliant, so it really is increasing the cell turnover in your skin. So you're getting rid of that dead skin, making your skin look brighter and glowier and all the good things. So yeah, this is just really a great product and I feel like I never hear anyone talk about this, which is shocking. So I had to give it some love because this is, this is my one true love right now in skincare. It's so good. Now a good honorable mention also goes out to the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This one here is the Lotion Plus with the Clinique Idea inside. But I remember this was the very first like high-end moisturizer that I ever bought. And I remember being like 12 or 13, hearing everyone talk about this back on YouTube in the day. I went to the Clinique counter and bought it. And I must have used it for like a year straight. Anyways, somehow I like completely forgot about it and just kind of stopped using it when I had finished it. So I literally hadn't used it in like 10 years, but I fell back in love with it as well. And I'm sure as you can tell, it's basically out. But um, yeah, lotion is definitely something, like my face moisturizer is something that I will change up depending on the season. Like I find now when it is a bit more dry, I will go in with like a heavier, more moisturizing product at nighttime. Um, but this was probably like my most frequently used face moisturizer of the year. And yeah, I just think, I think it's really incredible. Okay, so that was all of like the body care, skincare stuff. Now I have a little bucket of makeup here that are my essentials. Some of these things are things that you might have heard me talk about before. Some things I don't think I've ever talked before on camera. So I'm just gonna reach in and pull out some goodies. Ooh, so first up, I have to talk about the best lip gloss in the entire world. Not, not kidding when I say this. This has changed lip glosses for me. This is from the brand Nude Sticks and these are the Lip Glasses. This one here is in the shade Nude 04, which is probably my most worn lip gloss. And then I recently just got Nude 02, which is a bit lighter and a bit pinkier. But, oh my goodness. Okay, where do I even begin with these? So first of all, there's peppermint oil inside. So it smells really good. It's really refreshing. I don't wanna say it's tingly on the lips, but the peppermint oil definitely makes you feel like plumped and like, it feels good on the lips. Now, I mean, I love the wand, I love the packaging, it feels so good. Now, one thing that makes this lip gloss the best lip gloss in the world is the way that it wears. I find a lot of lip product on me, whether it's lipstick, lip gloss, it'll kind of bunch and collect and like, kind of get gross and settle in the lines of my lips throughout the day, which I always just kind of expected that to happen with lip product. I didn't really think anything else until I got this lip gloss. It wears so well, it doesn't collect or move. The pigment is so smooth. There's no shimmer in it, which I really like as well. It's a very like glass-like, smooth, glossy, high shine lip gloss. It feels really comfortable on the lips. It's really just so good. Now it doesn't have the biggest color range. I think there's maybe about six, six to 10 colors, but the colors that they do have are so lovely. Like I said, Nudo 4 is definitely my most worn. I find in the summertime, it goes perfect with my skin tone. It goes good with all the lip liners that I tend to use. Now Nudo 2 is a bit pinkier and a bit lighter, which is good if I want to go obviously for a lighter lip, but this one for sure, I, I actually don't even know how. It doesn't even look empty because this is the only lip gloss I've used since I've gotten it. Probably been wearing it, I don't know, eight or nine months straight, but this was definitely, if I had to actually pick one makeup product of the year, this would be the makeup product of the year because I think this is the best lip gloss ever. And I will go on record saying that. 
Now I actually do have two other Nude Sticks products here. Nude Sticks this year has been a huge hit for me. I mean, I've really been a fan of the brand in general because, I mean, I love their whole motto. It's like nude, but better. Um, they're all about non-fussy makeup products, which I really resonate with. And the first product here that oh, I have just been so obsessed with and I've used so so much is the Nude Sticks Nudie Bloom All Over Dewy Color and Poppy Girl. Now this was a collab with Mary Phillips who is like my icon makeup artist. I think she's incredible. And this is the most lovely cream blush color. Now I mainly would use it for cream blush. You can use it on your eyes, on your lips. You really can use it all over. Um, so really nice for a monochromatic look. But in the summertime with a good tan, this on your cheeks, maybe a little bit on the nose. You kind of look like you got almost like a little bit too much sun but in a really like healthy and refreshing way and I really just think that this is a really fantastic product I love the way that it wears I love the color of it I use this so much it is actually insane they're really good for on the go too they have like a little brush on this end so you can really just pop it on blend it out with your fingers blend it out with a brush and uh, you're good to go so would definitely recommend this if you are looking for a cream blush oh I'm telling you this one is the one now sticking to the same theme of like a cream product you can use in a ton of different ways. This is the Nudies All Over Face Color in the color Hey Honey. Now I would use this as a face highlight. And you know what, I haven't been using it so much the last month or so because I am a lot paler. Um, but I do get fairly tan in the summer and this was my go-to highlight all summer. I was using it literally every single day on my eyes, on my cheekbones, on my cupid's bow. You really would just look like a bronzed glowing goddess. My skin would look so healthy. I swear I never got more compliments on my skin in real life from other people than this year and I swear it has to do with this product. It just makes your skin look so juicy and delicious. I really just love the color of it. There's not too many harsh sparkles so it's not an overwhelming highlight. Um, and again, it's just super easy to use, really easy to wear. They definitely do have a variety of highlight colors. I think there's one in Illuminati. I could be wrong with that, and there's one a bit deeper. Um, so there's definitely a variety for different skin tones, so definitely go in, try it out. It's actual formulation that is so incredible. So yeah, I really, really love this product. I used it a ton. It mine looks absolutely disgusting and like weird because I've used it so much, but that's a sign of a product that I really love. The grosser the makeup is, that means it's closer to my heart. Ooh, this is a fun product. I don't think I've ever talked about this before on camera. This is from Freck, and this is the OG Freckle. OG Freckle, is that what it's called? Mm. Long wear freckle makeup. I think this is called the OG or something like that. But basically what this is, is like a freckle pen. So it gives you fake freckles. And I'm obsessed with fake freckles. I'm sure if you've watched any of my tutorials, you'll see that I do them all the time on like my nose. And I just am so in love with this product. For a long time, I was using an eyebrow pencil and just kind of like dotting it on around my nose. But that, I found sometimes the color wouldn't be right, the finish wouldn't look good, and sometimes it would wear off really quickly. And another makeup artist that I really love her work, I think her handle is Nikki underscore makeup. Um, she's like a British makeup artist, she's amazing. She uses this product all the time, so I was like, you know what? Need to get my hands on it if it has her stamp of approval. And it is so, so good. Now one thing, I was shocked with how little it is. Like, it is like a very teeny tiny little product. It's almost like the size of, I have some lash glues that are like mini for on the go, and that's what this reminds me of. But it's basically like a little, a little paintbrush, like a little almost eyeliner pen. And it has kind of this like orangey brown, kind of like jelly product. And you kind of dot that on wherever you want the freckles and then you can kind of let it sit and set or you can kind of dab it out and have more of like a natural lighter color. Um, but oh my goodness, this is just a fantastic product. It makes doing my fake freckles way easier and especially when I have a tan in the summertime, this looks so incredibly believable, it's shocking. I actually have had so many family members who have obviously known me since, you know, I came out the womb and they were like, Jacqueline, like, do you have freckles? Like what is going on? Like, and they were so confused because it looks so real and I was like, y'all, it's makeup. So. Freck is definitely incredible. If you do fake freckles, would definitely recommend checking it out. Ooh, 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 what do I want to talk about next? Okay, I have some eyeliners here. I have talked about these before. These are the Fenty Beauty liners. I think they're called, what are they called? The Vivid Liquid Eyeliner. Now I have the entire collection. I have six other colors as well. Um, but these ones were definitely my favorite from the year. It's the white one, the yellow, and this is kind of like a really cool toned pink. It's in the shade Haughty Alert. These are just really pigmented colored liquid eyeliners. And I love doing more of like a modern graphic eye, maybe playing with some negative space. And these are like the perfect ones to do that. They're really easy to apply and you get such a huge color payoff. They're so incredible. I really haven't found any other liquid colored liners like these. So definitely wanted to give a huge shout out to these. I think they're incredible. Fenty Beauty in general is just a brand that I really fell in love with this year. Um, but these eyeliners are incredible. Ooh, 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 okay, you know, I have to talk about a lip balm. I like to consider myself a lip balm connoisseur. I love lip balm, I always have. The best lip balm of the year, this should really be no surprise, is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now this here is the original one, which is like a giant tub. Like it's a huge tub of lip balm. And 
I love the smell of it. It just brings me brings me peace at night. I smother my lips in this every single night, and then you wake up and your lips are just they're so plump, they're so juicy, it's just incredible. Now recently I have a new addition into my lip mask collection and this is the mint chocolate flavor and I actually really like it. The chocolate was a little confusing to me at first, I was like I don't know if I'll like that, but then when, as soon as I tried it out it's really just like a mint lip balm which I love that. Anything around the mouth that has like mint in it makes me feel very refreshed and I just I really like it. Mm, so I've been using this one a ton too, but again, it doesn't really matter what flavor you get. It's the formulation of the lip mask that is so incredible. So if you suffer from dry lips, I swear this will be a game changer. I was using the Bite Agave Lip Mask for a really long time, but that one definitely is very thick and it feels like you're wearing like honey on your lips and I would really only wear that at nighttime because it did feel so heavy and intense. Whereas this is a lip balm that you can wear in the daytime as well if you want to because it is more lightweight and comfortable. But that being said, you can definitely layer it up and really just like marinate it all night. So I absolutely love these lip balms. I think they're incredible. Let me know if you try them out because I'm telling you, it will change the lip balm game for you. Okay, next up, I gotta talk about my favorite eyeliner. I feel like this year was the year of winged eyeliner. I mean, I've always enjoyed winged liner, but this year it became like a staple in my makeup look. And this is the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This one here is the micro tip one, which is like a little, little mini felt tip liner. Um, but I also use the original. Actually, I guess I prefer this one now just because I've used it for so long, but I used to use the original one, but now that I have like the tiny precise applicator, I kind of I kind of like it a bit more. Um, but this product is so incredible. I can literally swim in pools and my eyeliner will come out and not even look like it's been affected by anything. It truly is waterproof. It lasts all day. I find it really easy to get off. I use cleansing oils and it comes off in like one go. But yeah, I really think that this is the best liquid eyeliner on the market right now. Super black, very intense, super easy to use. And I don't think I would have survived 2019 without this eyeliner. Like not to be dramatic, but to be dramatic, it is that good. Now I did want to talk a little bit about eyelashes this year because I'm someone, I have like a love-hate relationship with eyelashes. I mean, I hate my natural eyelashes. They're super short, super straight. They're not like the voluminous dark lashes of my dreams. Like I was not blessed in the eyelash department, but luckily there is fake lashes. I've had eyelash extensions before. I've done the lash lifts. Nothing, nothing really is, you know, the one for me. Now I do also struggle with more strip lashes. Unless I'm doing a very, very glam look, I rarely will do an entire full set of strip lashes. What I do like to do is take strip lashes and cut them in half and put them more in the outer corner of my eye. But for more of a natural look, if I do still want to get some length, what I've been loving doing is using individual eyelashes. These ones here are from Ardell. These are the short ones. They're just like the little individual clusters. And really what I like to do is just place like two or three of them just on the outer corner just to give me a little bit of length and to just kind of lift the eye up a little bit. And it's super natural looking. Nobody ever even knows that I have fake lashes on when I do that. So that's really been something that I've been loving this year. So I wanted to shout out that product. Now the best eyelash glue of all time is hands down the Kiss eyelash glue. It is latex free, it's super comfortable, but it's also like the most intense long wearing glue that I've ever used. I swear my lashes do not budge when I use this glue. And um, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I really like the applicator of it as well. It kind of comes like a liquid like eyeliner kind of paintbrush. Um, so you can really just glue onto the strip lashes or the individual lashes, super easy for touching up as well. If you wear strip lashes all the time and you find like your inner corner pops up or doesn't last well, I'm telling you, use the Kiss Lash Glue instead. This one is such, such a great product, it really is. Ooh, okay, we only have three products left of 2019. So yeah, next up I have the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Palette. Now, I actually went through an entire one this year. So this one is now only about a month old, so it still looks pretty fresh and pretty pretty. But I really like the contour shade in this. I think it's really great. It's a nice gray-based color, which is amazing for contouring. This was a big year for me, um, kind of discovering contouring a bit more. I mean, I always, like, you know, had it in my back pocket, could do it if I wanted to, but I wouldn't really use it into my everyday makeup. Whereas this year, I feel like I've really played around with kind of sculpting up my face, kind of changing my eye shape a bit by changing the contour of the crease, and really contouring my nose as well. Especially when I do a lot of fake freckles, I like to kind of narrow out the bridge of my nose, and this contour palette is amazing for that. So really like it, it's definitely a staple in my makeup bag. I pretty much don't do my makeup without using, without using a little bit of contour. Also, I feel like people are gonna be like, oh my god, contouring's like going out of style, and it's like, hey, there's a very specific style of contour that I think has gone out of style, like the contour that people think that Kim Kardashian would do back in like 2013. That contouring, I agree, is out of style. But I don't think people understand that there are really natural ways to do contour as well. And yeah, it's definitely something you can do in your everyday routine. It's more just about how you apply it, how you actually use the product. Okay, the final two products that I have here, I have a lip product here, which is what I'm wearing. Actually, everything that I talk about, I made a point to wear it or use it while I got ready today, with the exception of the Fenty liner. But other than that, 
think I'm wearing everything else. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Iconic Nude. Now, oh, I have dropped my little container. Now, when I talk about this, I don't want you guys to forget about my other two favorite lip liners, which is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and also the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in 2C. Those are my ride or dies, but those have been my ride or dies for like the past four years, so I didn't wanna, didn't wanna talk about them too much. But this lip liner has been a new discovery and a new love for me this year, and this is much more of a brown-based nude lip liner than I'm used to. I typically tend to go for more pinky shades because my lip color naturally is fairly pink. Um, but whoa, I've been loving just nuding out the lip, going super monochromatic, going super brown, and this is just a really great lip liner. Now, I personally love this color when I am a bit more tan because it's a bit closer to my actual skin tone, and there's just something so cool about, yeah, like the monochromatic look. Um, but also, I mean, I am pretty pale today and I'm wearing it, I still really like it. What I really like about it is that it is more of like a gray base nude as well, which again, is really good if you're trying to cheat the shape of your lip. And I play around with my lip shape all the time. I'll make them bigger, I'll change my cupid's bow, I'll add a bit more of a pout. I'm always changing it up and using more of a gray base color kind of creates that natural shadow and um, it makes it really good for overlining your lips. So I absolutely love this color, I think it's incredible. And um, yeah, formulation's really good, wears really well and absolutely love it. Okay, the last thing I have is what I dropped. Where did it go? Ew. Er, 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 there we go. Okay guys, last favorite of the year. This is Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Mascara. Now you guys know I have very strong thoughts about waterproof mascara. I gotta use waterproof mascara. I just have to, I cry, I have eyeball issues, I can't wear my contacts. It holds the curl better. Everything about waterproof mascara is so essential. When people say I can't remove waterproof mascara, that I always say you're just not using the right removers because again, I use cleansing oils and cleansing balms and it takes it off no problem. This mascara has been, ooh, such a win for me this year. I'm pretty sure it came out this year, if not late last year, but I used it this year for the first time and it is so good. First of all, I love the packaging. It's got little water droplets all over it. I think it's really nice, but it is actually more of like a fibrous brush, which I typically don't go for. I typically like plastic brushes when I do my mascara because it gives me a lot of separation, which is why I really like the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara, which I was using for a long time before. This one just gives your lashes a lot more volume. It can make them a bit more clumpier, but I mean, I've got very short lashes, so they don't clump up too much. But this one definitely gives you a lot more drama than a mascara like the Glossier one so I really like it it's very black very intense like I said holds a curl obviously is waterproof it really just is a great mascara so if you're someone who has similar eyelash needs to what I do definitely would recommend checking it out um, yeah I, I just really like it okay wow this has been a very fun beauty roundup um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if any of these products are things that you've tried if you like them as well I would love to hear your thoughts also, let me know down below in the comments what has been your favorite product that you discovered in 2019. I'm very curious. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys all have a great holiday season and New Year's. This may be one of my last videos of the decade, which is shocking to say. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Make sure you guys go to my Instagram and go enter that Azara Wanted Girl giveaway because I would love for one of you guys, one of my true viewers, to win that. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.